Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you love luxury fashion and beauty content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. I do long rambly intros, but today I thought let's just get straight into it because I am so excited to show you guys my new little teeny tiny baby. I am just obsessed with Hermes. I went through a phase at the beginning of the year as well, towards the end of the year, where I just wanted to buy Chanel classic flats because I had this vision of having an entire wall of just skittle colored classic flaps and I feel like I've achieved that. <laughs> I haven't shown you guys all of the bags that I have because there are a lot that I've been collecting over the years but the classic flaps that I bought recently you guys already know they're in an array of colors. I went first with the classics which I didn't have and then I started buying the more crazy colors. This is not a Chanel video but I will go into more detail about like my Chanel collection and just collecting Chanel in another video. So we're just gonna go through the box and this I basically, I did say in my last video, once I got my essay at Hermes lockdown, I'd be buying more Hermes bags and you guys know I keep my promises. So here we go. This is, oh my God. I don't know why I'm so shocked every time I see this bag, but it really is so cute. Like it's tiny. If you haven't already guessed, it is an Hermes Birkin 25 and the colour, I'll let you guys guess before I show, is, oh my god, a two, a two, a two, a two. Wow, you can really see the veins on this one. How beautiful is this color? It's like in between a brown and a gray and it's just so beautiful. It's like a mocha gray, mocha brown. And this is in Togo leather. Comes complete with a care kit and the raincoat. Say so this in all my videos, if you live in a colder climate country or a climate or in a country where rain is prone to happen often, keep the raincoat in your bag. I live in a desert, therefore it's not really necessary for me to keep it on my bag. But if I do travel out of the country, I will always take the raincoat. How stunning, I cannot deal with how small this is. Like I have, like I do have 25s, but every time I see a new one, it's just like, you're so mini. You guys would probably remember from my first 25 unboxing that I also got a Togo leather 25 black Hermes Birkin, which is, right here they are the exact same bag but i don't know if you guys can see the shape of this one is looking a lot nicer than this one this one has been used like i use her but i don't like babying bags like i just don't think that's something we should do i mean yes these are expensive bags but if you're gonna baby a bag you shouldn't be buying the bag like i don't mean that in an offensive way but like bags are meant to be worn they're meant to be used they're not meant to be like treasured i am obsessed so these are the exact same sizes the exact same leather both in togo leather but this actually has contrast stitching i know i said i didn't like contrast stitching but i think it works for this bag oh i also just want to mention if you guys didn't know that this um hardware on the black is actually rose gold whereas the hardware on this is yellow gold there is a slight difference it's not huge but it's noticeable. I actually was not looking forward to the bag sagging. Like to be completely honest with you guys, I love when little Birkins look structured. Like I love how this one looks right now. I'm really hoping it doesn't, well, it's gonna, <laughs> but um, no, I love how Birkins look structured, but I would never get a Celia Birkin. I'm just not a fan of the Celia Birkins. I feel like Birkins should always be retourne. They just, they're more of a relaxed looking bag and I know a lot of people like hyping over the Celia Birkins now, but I just can't get myself to buy one of those. I'm not a fan. And inside we have the clochette with obviously the lock and key. And I actually pulled out one of the twillies that I want to use for this bag because I think I might actually move all of my stuff over from this bag to this one for today. <gasps> my goodness. Starting off my collection because I've always been fond of 
luxury fashion. I obviously didn't have the budget for it growing up. My parents were like super strict and they were like, you know what, if you want something, you gotta earn it yourself. And basically I was like, everyone can buy basics. So why would I go out of my way to buy basics, which everyone has? Like, yes, I'll have one or two pieces, but I think it's always more interesting to have pieces which not a lot of people have. So I'd always end up gravitating towards like the slightly more quirkier looking Chanel bags. Whether I was buying them straight from the store or pre-loved, I would always opt for like the quirkier looking Chanel bags. Obviously bags which I could incorporate into my daily life and actually went with outfits. However, I never really opted for like the classics because I feel like if you've got one or two, like a black and a beige, that's all you really need if you're starting off a collection. Whereas, which is why I actually purchased my black B25 first before any other colors. Obviously I've got other colors from my mother's collection, but when it comes to my personal collection, I was like, no, I have to get a B25 first in black, Togo leather with gold hardware. I mean, this one's rose gold, so it's more special, but it just had to be, a black one obviously i've been buying kelly's recently because i do really love kelly's but now i feel like i need a gray i've gotten a taupe i've got a black i have the tan in a 30 i definitely need to get that in a 25 it's just really hard to get a hold of so i've picked out a twilly for her today i thought we're going to go for my favorite type of twilly if you guys follow me you'll know that this one is my favorite type <laughs> I have this in literally all the colors. I love it so much because I think it's just such a beautiful pattern and I haven't actually used this yet. So we are gonna christen her with a new twilly. Aren't you lucky? I know some people actually put two twillies on their Birkins, but I tend to just opt for one. I don't think it's really necessary to have two. I asked my sister, I always ask my sister for her opinions on things because I do appreciate her opinion. I asked her what she thought about double twillies on Birkins and she thought it was horrific, so I can't be doing that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wrap her around really roughly just to give you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like. But basically on the black one, I've got the red twilly in this exact pattern. And if you're not comfortable with twillies yet, I definitely think you should explore them because they are so beautiful and they just really add something extra to a plain boring bag. Okay, obviously that doesn't look great, but <laughs> you get the gist. <laughs> it's cute. Maybe I'll opt for like a brighter color, like the orange. I do have the orange. We have the red, exact same one on the black Birkin. And then I tried to wrap the orange <laughs> on my B30, which I don't think it really works. Unless I've tied it wrong, it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit short for this bag. And I feel like the orange against this etude would be stunning. Such a vibe. But so far, <laughs> so cute i'm loving this bag and i've mentioned this in my previous like kelly videos Hermes no longer do the serial code on the straps now are these called straps they're now on the inside of the bag so if you look inside your bag the code will be literally there you can see inside it's completely brand new has a zip pocket at the back. Honestly, if you're looking to buy your first Hermes bag, I would definitely recommend getting the Birkin in Togo leather first. Whether, and the size really depends on your size, like, and how much you carry in your bag. Obviously, because I'm five foot, I'm small, I don't really have a lot to carry in my bag on a daily basis because I don't really need to carry a lot of stuff. I would always opt for the B25. It's just my favorite. However, if I am going to the office or if I'm going somewhere where I need to carry my laptop, I will either opt for a Kelly 32 or a Kelly 32 and Retourne or I'll opt for a Birkin 30 because they fit <laughs> my laptop in it, which is amazing. But I'm definitely gonna have fun with this. If you're someone that likes to have like a crossbody option, then obviously go for the Kelly, definitely the Retourne. I feel like you have to get a Retourne first if this is like, an everyday use kind of bag. I feel like the Celliers, they're just so structured and they're just like so formal. I like them in 25s and I like them in 20s, but I've said this before, I'm no longer buying Kelly 28s. I just, in Cellier, I just don't think it's me. So I've actually just tied this properly onto the Birkin. I just wanna show you guys before I ended the video. And I forgot to do the christening of the bag. So we're gonna do that together. We do this in every video. We take off the stickers, it has to be done. Completely forgot to do this in this one, but it's 
it's okay, we're doing it now. There we go. I am so excited to use her today. In fact, you know what? Let's not end this video here. Oh my goodness, we forgot about your feet. We forgot about your little feet. Okay, feet done. Now let's transfer whatever I'm using from this Birkin to this Birkin. So of course, I just have a bunch of receipts. Okay, credit card, ID. Sunglasses. These are my favorite new Dior ones. Well, they're not new really, but a lot of people ask me which sunglasses they are because I've worn them in a lot on my recent posts. I will link them down below. More receipts. Cash. Lots of cash. I don't actually have a wallet. I'm not good with wallets, but the good thing about a Birkin is that they have this back pocket which you can sh shove things into. And I say this with a lot of my Birkins. I I did it again. I gave myself evil eye and I put lipstick on my bag. I don't really like using this front pocket because sometimes when the bag, like you're using the bag, you can like see the outline and like it just causes like this indentation and I don't like that. So I don't really often use that. We've got car keys, headphones. I haven't progressed to the AirPods yet, but I, I'm thinking about it. More money. Ooh, I have this teeny tiny little perfume. This was actually part of a gift set that an air stewardess gave to me on a flight once and if you're still watching my videos and you're still here and you see this video, I still use the gift that you gave me and I just cherish it and every time I see it I think about you and the conversation that we had and I think you are so sweet and such a strong woman and I really appreciate you actually saying hi and obviously the gift it was really sweet of you you know sometimes you, in life you just come across some really amazing people and like a lot of the time i just talk about how much i hate um social media and people you know sometimes you get really amazing people that come up to you and are really sweet and like i think it's been the one benefit of me being on this platform is that i've actually met a lot of really amazing people and i mean obviously there are some awful people in this world but that's just a given, some of you weren't raised right. It's just really heartwarming to like talk to you guys because I I don't realize how many of you that I really help and until you message me saying that I help you in some sort of way, well, I don't really feel like these videos, you know, are, are that great, but if you guys find some sort of escapism and these videos bring you like some sort of happiness and I really appreciate it. Obviously, I just sit here and do stupid unboxing videos, but for some of you guys, it's, more than that and i really appreciate you guys a lot honestly a lot so thank you for that <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you tap that bell to get notified every time i upload as well as that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video